libraries, oh my gosh, libraries are one of the great learning environments that most people have really not considered very much over the years. Uh, they're rarely asked to be part of uh, strategic education efforts until recently. I think they're embedded in, in most communities in the country. They are a very important resource. They're an anchor institution. And if you don't work with public libraries, I don't see how you're going to impact the education climate and the education environment across the country. Libraries have been rebranding themselves over the last several decades into more like the community living room than any sort of other space in the community. So they are becoming more of a learning center than just a place for books. And that is really reflected in the increase in programming, especially STEM programming in libraries. So I know the schools do a lot, but there's still a lot of kids that maybe aren't doing it or they want to do it again, or we have homeschooling. And I think for adults, it's something fun too, because they don't always get to have this chance. So we're saying, oh yeah, bring the kids, but yeah, it's gonna be for adults too. The Collaborative Summer Library Program is a consortium of states working together to share resources for each summer's learning theme. For 2019, the theme is A Universe of Stories. The Space Science Institute and Lunar and Planetary Institute are facilitating 12 NASA STEM workshops across the country to help prepare library staff to facilitate space science learning with their communities. Actually, the, this workshop's given me a lot more to work with and with all these ideas, it's not going to stop in the summer. I'm thinking that my favorite part so far has been the impactor experiment where we threw different objects at the bins of flour and watch the impact. The one we just did about trying to make the lunar landing, I had to kind of stop and say, oh, wait a minute, um, we have to think about this and, and you can't eat the astronauts, even though they're marshmallows. <laughs> We're encouraging other organizations, other research organizations, or, or other uh, educational organizations to think about libraries as a go-to place where they represent not only uh, you know, their community, but it's all the, the populations that are in that community as well. So they are places that are welcoming, they're free, and they're accessible.